In the fall of 2001, an entire family vanished without a trace from their home in a quiet neighborhood. The Jameson family seemingly disappeared into thin air, leaving behind a mystery that still haunts investigators and true crime enthusiasts to this day. What happened to them? Buckle up, because we're diving deep into this chilling story. Today, we're exploring a case that feels like something straight out of a thriller movie. The Jameson family Bobby, his wife Sherilyn, and their adorable daughter Madison were a seemingly ordinary family living in Eufaula, Oklahoma. But one fateful day in October 2009, they vanished without a single clue as to where they went or what happened to them. It's a tale filled with unanswered questions, strange sightings, and dark theories. So, let's unravel the mystery surrounding the Jameson family's disappearance together. Bobby and Sherilyn Jameson were in their thirties and had their daughter Madison, who was just six years old at the time. They lived in a modest home, but things weren't all sunshine and rainbows. The family had been struggling financially, and Bobby had recently been laid off from his job. They had dreams of a better life, and in 2009, they decided to go to a remote area known as Red Oak, Oklahoma, to look at some land they were considering purchasing. It was supposed to be an escape, a fresh beginning. But little did they know, this trip would lead to something far more sinister. As they packed their belongings and headed out, life as they knew it was about to change forever. On October 8, 2009, the Jamesons were spotted at a local hardware store in Red Oak, buying supplies. Witnesses later reported that they seemed disoriented and a bit out of it, which raised some eyebrows. After that, they drove to a secluded area in the woods to check out the land. But when they never returned home to Eufala, their loved ones grew concerned. Investigators launched a search party, and when they dug deeper into the mystery, they found some strange leads. Reports came in of a possible sighting of the family in a nearby town, but nothing concrete ever came from it. Days turned into weeks, and despite extensive searches by local authorities, no sign of the family was found. But here's where it gets really eerie. In November, searchers discovered their vehicle parked on a roadside, with their belongings still inside, things like their phones, Sherilyn's purse, wallets, and even Madison's stuffed animals. But there was no trace of the family. It was as if they had just stepped into thin air. Investigators explored every angle, including the possibility of an animal attack, foul play, or even a tragic accident, but they failed to find anything. The investigation also revealed some bizarre rumors about Bobby and Sherilyn being involved in some questionable activities. Still stranger was the video taken by a home video camera. The couple was seen loading up their belongings in the back of their truck. But wait, there's more. Bobby's pastor reported that Bobby had visited him saying that he had ghosts on his roof. Sherilyn purchased a satanic book, supposedly as a joke, but Bobby admitted to his pastor that he had read it. Sherilyn's mother, Connie Cockaton, believed that the Jamesons had somehow gotten entangled with the cult and violent members were responsible for the disappearance. But she never named a cult, and no evidence has ever been discovered to support the theory. Several other theories emerged. The first was that one of the two took the other's life and then took their own. The police found an angry letter to Bobby from Sherilyn. It was eleven pages long. Another is that Bobby's father, Bob, was somehow involved. His father had a restraining order filed against him by his son. He claimed that his father had threatened his family's life. However, his father was in poor health and Bobby's brother said that Bob was either in a rest home or in the hospital at the time of the disappearance. The mystery just kept growing, and the more they searched, the more questions surfaced. It was also rumored that drugs or mental illness was involved. Of course, there was also the theory that they had been abducted. But nothing of these theories were ever proven. The couple also had a troubled marriage, 
with reports of domestic disputes and financial issues that made their loved ones worry. Friends and family began to question their relationship and whether it played a role in their disappearance. Then there was the issue of public perception. The media jumped on the story, and soon, everyone had an opinion. Some people speculated they had run away to escape their problems, while others believed they had fallen victim to foul play. The lack of concrete evidence only fueled the speculation and left investigators frustrated as they struggled to find direction in the case. Fast forward to 2013, when a break in the case occurred. In a shocking turn of events, the remains of Madison, Bobby, and Sherilyn were discovered in a remote area three miles from where their vehicle was found. The cause of their demise was ruled as undetermined, and the circumstances surrounding their passing remained shrouded in mystery. The discovery led to a massive resurgence in media attention. But as time went on, the case grew colder. It became a case of what could have been and what might still be. So here we are, years later, and the Jameson family's story still lingers in the air. Their case is a chilling reminder of how quickly life can change and how some mysteries may never be solved. Bobby, Cheryl, and Madison were just an ordinary family with hopes and dreams, and now their story is intertwined with tragedy and unanswered questions. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? So, what do you think? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more deep dives into true crime mysteries like this one. And check out these videos for more. Thanks for watching. And if you need help or know someone missing, contact the National Missing and Unidentified Persons System.